got a real big show tonight. VIPs only. I'll take care of it. Hold on now. Yeah, right. You're not on the list, I don't think. I'm pretty sure oh, I am. Oh, you need to nip it, buddy. Just nip it. Seriously? Yeah. Whoa. Well, this is big right here. Ray, Ray Stevens, Mr. Stevens, what an honor. The street get Tarzan. Wow, what an honor. Well, thank you. You know, you're quite a VIP also. <laughs> Love your new movie. Oh, thanks. I just did a little bit of acting, you know. Just when you got it, you got it. <laughs> Let's get you all settled in here, Mr. Stevens. Thank you. We got a really big show to do tonight. Yeah, we really do. Now, as our warm-up comedian, Rick Roberts, used to use his astounding Barney Fife impression to herd our audiences right into their seats. Rick is now one of the nation's top clean comics and corporate speakers. With the premiere of a brand new film called Mayberry Man, he's now a movie star. And together with co-star Alan Newsom, who's been impersonating the character Floyd Lawson for over 20 years, they have done a wonderful job of bringing Mayberry back to life. Would you give a warm welcome to our friends Rick Roberts and Alan Newsom? Welcome. <laughs> you know, I should ask the audience, does everybody here love the old Andy Griffith show? <laughs> yeah? Who wouldn't love that great classic comedy, but always with an interesting lesson for it? Now, you guys have created something called Mayberry Man. It's a, a full-length motion picture. It's in theaters now. It can also be available on uh, Amazon. Uh, how'd the movie come about, Rick? Well, uh, Court and Stark Howe, they're brothers, and their dad was on The Andy Griffith Show as an extra. And they went to see a Mayberry Festival where they met Alan. And they thought, man, if we could put together a, a fish-out-of-water story where a Hollywood actor gets involved with this Mayberry fan club, basically, and interacts with them, it might be a cool story. And so that's kind of how it started. And we've, we both got asked to be on the thing. They knew Alan before they knew me, but it's, it's really a, a movie about the fans and how they love on strangers and, and welcome them into a community. Now, Alan, I got to figure out where did you come up with the idea you wanted to be Floyd Lawson, for heaven's sake. Well, I've been doing that since 1994. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, there was another fellow that did Barney uh, named David Browning, and he talked me into just uh, coming to Mayberry Days in Mountain uh -huh. Area, North Carolina uh, in 1994, dressed up like Floyd, and I did it one time. I'm an electrical engineer. This is not normal. <laughs> so you uh, are not a barber. No, no, I am not. Did you bring clippers and I, scissors? I do, I do have scissors. You look a little shaggy in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's, there's so many great moments that we've all had from uh, the movie, but this is not just sort of a recreation of Mayberry. It's a brand new plot. We've got a little clip that I want to show. Rick. Set it up for us before we see it. Okay, about midway through the movie, the main character is starting to be more Mayberry-like and doing some things for his friends. He finds out that there's a real Mayberry squad car at this abandoned movie studio. He knew that I would like it, so he invites Floyd and I to go check it out, and we creep into this movie studio at night, and I think we're gonna show the clip where I get to see the car for the first time. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. You want to sit in it? Oh, I don't think I should. I can't do it, can I? Can I? That is great. <laughs> Rick, when I see you do the Barney Five character, honestly, there are times when I can't remember, is that Rick Roberts or is that Don Knotts? Because you've got him down, I mean, to a T. Well, he was such a, I mean, as a kid, I, that was my favorite show and he's always been my favorite actor. So when I stumbled into the possibility of doing that in character in my stand-up and sometimes in life situations, I was like, I'm going to study and really try to learn him, you know, study really close. and. I'm glad it came out across the screen, man. He's such a fun, fun guy. Well, it was such a classic show, and the characters were unique. They were powerful. 
uh, in that they had, uh, I, I guess, a great connection with people. You could almost see people in your own hometown in the characters from Mayberry. I mean, we all kind of knew there was a Floyd the Barber in I, every little community. I grew up, there were definitely Ernest T's that lived in my town. I grew up in a small town. In was the there an Otis? Oh, well, no, we were a dry county. Uh, <laughs> dry but, county. Uh, I don't think that had, had anything to do with it. No, it didn't. <laughs> So we had church ladies that were like Aunt B and yeah. others. And yeah, it's, it's something you can relate to, I believe. And, and to me, the Andy Griffith Show is an ideal that we can strive toward, where, where people were kind to each other, fam people loved each other, there was family, the church, all, all that stuff was there. And it's just something I think we can wish the world was really like that. Uh, Rick, I heard someone say that the reason that everybody on Mayberry was so well-adjusted and so happy they were all single. None of them were married. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Except for Otis, and look what happened there. Yeah, yeah right. Otis was the only one married, and he stayed in the drunk tank all the time. <laughs> Well, you got to cope with it however you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's actually the lesson we want to get across no. from Mayberry. No. Um, but it, it clearly has resonated with people. When people see Mayberry Man, what is it they're going to connect to that you feel like is going to be a warm-hearted, very positive message? Well, I, th I think the main thing is they're going to see themselves in it. It's really a movie about the fans. You know, it's not a remake of The Andy Griffith Show. It's just what happens when all these fans get together. So if you've ever watched an episode and just loved it, you're the audience for this group, you know. It's going to be a fun movie for you to see. Can't wait for everybody to see it. You can stream Mayberry Man right now on Amazon. You can also learn more at mayberrymanmovie.com.